Why, hello, good people of the uh, YouTube audience. Uh, I am Bucket Help, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and configure Permissions Bucket. So, the first thing you want to do is go to this web page, I'll link in the description, dev.bucket.org forward slash server hyphen mods forward slash perm bucket forward slash. Um, so once you get to this page, go ahead and scroll down and then download the latest dev build of Permissions Bucket, which I have done already. Just go ahead and click this. Then click this and download Super Perms Bridge version 1.2. And be sure to download the jars. Now once you've downloaded those, which I have already, go to your downloads folder and simple sim simplicity is you just cut the two files, which I have no idea where they are. In this, and then just go to your MC server, go to your plugins and paste them in here. You should know how to do that. Once you have the two jars pasted in here, just go ahead and run your server. So run it, let it load completely to where it isn't loading anything anymore. Mine's done. Close that, open up your permissions bucket folder. And actually this folder, would the for uh, excuse me the file that will be generated in that folder will actually be named config.yml which I accidentally renamed it something else so this is the default file you'll get config.yml there'll only be one file generated be sure it's named config.yml or it won't work so now it's time to explain the configuration file and this is where it gets a little bit complicated but don't worry by the end of this 10 minutes probably 10 minute tutorial you'll be just fine with it. So, first of all, I recommend using permissions or Notepad++ to edit uh, YML files. Uh, why do you ask? This is because if you have tabs in your file, then the permissions file won't work. And it tells you when you have tabs because uh, the letters will turn red and it helps you figure out errors before they even happen so you don't have to deal with them later. So now I'm going to explain how to do this user section. So users is say if you you just add different users to different groups and give them specific permissions. So if, say if I wanted to add another user, no tabs, remember that, no tabs, and then just paste it. So really simple. Uh, once you add a different user, which you can edit the original, doesn't matter, just go ahead and change the username to whatever username you want. So the pilot guy is my Minecraft account name. And then the next part is the permissions part. So this is specific permissions for that user. This is not required so I could just have a user in there just like this, just have them in groups. You don't need specific permissions for that one player but it's optional but yeah. Uh, so make sure these are on the correct positions and this right here is a node. A permissions node is a certain permission that a person can do or cannot do. So yes. And this is just an example node. You can get rid of it. And so I'll explain to you basically what a node is and how you can get it for your plugins. So say I wanted to install LWC, LWC and they have there, uh, let's see what is it called, uh, notes, sorry, and you'll see permissions right here, so you just click that little button, it'll be somewhere on the topic where it either says permissions or it says permissions nodes, if the uh, plugin does support permissions, and you'll get a list here. So these are the nodes, and these are the definitions of what the nodes do. You only need to copy and paste the nodes into the config, so this node gives the player the ability to create a public password or private protection. So what I could do here is enter, make sure there are no tabs, control V, and do that. Make sure there's uh, a, let's see, I'm not sure what these are named, but you know what it is. And space and then true uh, for that person to have the permission. Say if a person has is a part of a group, and the group has a permission you don't want that user to have, you don't want that user to have. All you have to do is in their custom user permissions just put the false command with the node, and then that person will overwrite the group permissions and not have that node. It's a very useful thing to have. 
and last thing as a part of the user portion is groups and you can just add as many groups as you want so uh, I could have them in defaults but I could also have them in admin it's a pretty simple yeah, groups make sure everything's in the correct space spacing right there aligned with groups alright so here it gets a, even a tiny bit more complicated but it's still simple uh, this is the groups portion and as you can see there are different groups here and before I go into what each of these things means say you wanted to add a new group all you'd have to do is copy this uh, and paste it and if I wanted to get rid of a group I just delete it simple enough so this is the user not the username the name of the group so this is the admin group this is the user group and this is the default group now before I go and see the rest of it uh, though how do you get you're probably asking how do I have a user default into one group um, the uh, let's see how do I name this the name of the group has to be default for the user to join it when they first join the server so this is the default group you can't name it guest or the user will not uh, join it by default when they first join your server so yeah as I said default group has to be spelled correctly etc and they'll join that group when they first join uh, yep so here's the permissions I've already explained what nodes are you should know what to do add a new node all I have to do is that permissions true you know nodes whatever it is you want to do um, so the last thing here is a tiny bit complicated not really though um, it's called inheritance and this is a uh, admin group it'll inherit the user groups permissions because I've set it to inherit user user inherits default groups so user will inherit the default groups permissions but it will not inherit admins because I didn't set it to inherit admin I only set admin to inherit it if you see what I'm saying um, so since admin inherits user permissions and user gets its permissions also from default because it inherits default permissions admin will get user and default permissions you see what I'm doing here? So, or, you see what I'm saying here? So, since user inherits default permissions, admin also gets default permissions because it inherits user permissions. And this will go for as many groups as you want. Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. So, as I said before here, say if I had uh, a user have a permission that I didn't want admin to have for some reason, I could just have cool plugin dot item here cool plugin dot item false and see these uh the words are red that's means there are tabs but um so I put that false so then the user doesn't inherit this they don't have that permission permissions dot uh, asterisk gives the user all permissions uh, from every plugin or it might be all permissions from permissions plugin, but anyway, that's a permissions dot uh, that does. Uh, so the last thing we have to do is messages. So messages is custom things you want them to say if they don't have permission to do something. So if they don't have permission to build, I could just put hi, and then if they couldn't build, it it show hi, the it'd show hi in red because this is a color code for red. So yep, that's the simplicity kind of of the permissions bucket configuration file. Now here's an example of a fully configured file. We have all these members here. I'll kind of scroll down a little bit fast just to go through it, but you can see it's pretty simple to do. You have default permissions, members, moderators. Uh, now one last thing is if you want to have specific permissions in specific worlds you just put worlds instead of permissions and then you put the name world here and then you can put the permissions simply for that world make sure these are in the correct place or you'll get an error so these have to be the correct spaces away from the side right here you see I'm kinda of getting an example with my cursor thing yeah so if I wanted to add a different world like say 
world nether then these people can have permissions that they didn't have in world in world nether but these permissions up here uh, go for all worlds and make sure you still have permissions there it won't work so yeah we have worlds world and so I'll just go and scroll down through this and yep, that's pretty much it that's all of the permissions config ness permissions configuration ness so last thing we have to do is explain the in-game commands so I'll again go ahead and cut out to the in-game commands so see you there why hello good sirs uh, I'm back and it's time for me to explain to you the oh wow it's a little bit laggy there we go it's time to explain to you the permissions in-game commands. So these are very simple commands. I'll link. I'll put a link in the description for a uh, to give you a list of them because you'll probably want to see that. But anyway, say if you want to reload your permissions config because you just edited it, just permissions reload, permissions configuration reloaded. Very simple, and yeah, very simple. Next command we're gonna do is permissions check node player. So dash permissions check I'm gonna put a permissions note here so LWC dot that the pilot guy and I shouldn't have it because I don't remember that being in my permissions config yep LCW dot that's false so let's see what else do we have here we have dump player and page which will Dump. I'm not gonna do all these in game. It would take too long. But permissions dump will print some info about a player's permissions in their chat. Permissions dot info or just permissions info prints information on a specific permission node. Permissions check. I already showed you. Permissions group uh, lists groups related commands. So that'll be simple to show you in game. Permissions group. There's other permissions group commands permissions uh, let's see help these will give you all the main permissions commands dash permissions player and that will give you all the player commands and once again I'll link in the description so you won't have to go and look at this video every two minutes when you don't know what remember what I said so yeah that's about it for this tutorial guys rates comments maybe subscribe if you want to see more of these as I'm starting up the bucket tutorials once again so yeah guys see ya